shoes in it. So we did great on the flight. We landed. Guess what happens when you have to get up and leave your buffer zone? You have to walk through the rest of the plane. So they still continued to serve the trail mix to the, the coach passengers, and they warmed up their nuts for first class. So what we learned was, you know, by the time we walked through the plane and through first class and off the plane, she was having breathing problems because she inhaled the nut proteins that were in the air. So should she wear a mask or something? So we now have a mask, and we know that, you know, once you leave that buffer zone, you have to have a mask on. And a buffer zone is an area that's okay. safe, that people around the area know not to have any exactly. nuts or things like that. Right. There is so much, Amy, that you have to do. You are a super mom to, no. <laughs> for, I mean, to do all this. I mean, it takes a lot of, uh, a lot of time and a lot of calling and a lot of effort for somebody to do all this. It's but a lot know, of work. But you know, as a mom, you do whatever it takes for your kids, right? Yeah. So that's what we do, and that's what food allergy moms do. We we do what's necessary. So. That is, that's amazing, and maybe, um, now, you did produce a, a little, um, what was it, a film? On a short documentary. Doc it was a six-minute documentary on flying with nut allergies and the issues and the, and the difficulties that we have flying um, with nut allergies. So my hope is um, that we can get it out um, more to the public to make them more aware. And I, and I always tell people, and this is a good point for me to do it, I always tell people, if, even if you don't have nut allergies, you may not get it, you know, if you know you have to fly, eat your nuts before you get on the plane or after you get off of the plane. Try not to eat your nuts on the flight because you don't know if there's a passenger with nut allergies. Mm -hmm. And right now, we don't know whether an airline is going to make an announcement for us or not. So oh. it's very risky. Well, anyway, I want to thank you for coming. And when you get that book, I invite you back oh, nice. to Commons Roundtable, and we'll go through the book talking about different states. Great. And what, I think this has been, I am very happy, Amy Wicker, uh, former president, and she's founder and president of Allergy Safe Travel. And this is a really good for children that have allergies that need special attention on airlines. And we even we never got to ships or any of the other, but oh, we'll get there. We'll get, we'll get there. <laughs> Thank you again Thank for coming. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank You're you. welcome. And I'm glad that.